Yo, what's up guys? It's Rudar here, and today we are going to go over a concept of pressure points in WoW Arena. Now, this is something that I've never really seen people talk about in any other video, but it's a like, super important concept to make any cast like double caster work. Um, so basically what it is, we're going to make an example where we're fighting Windwalker Monk and we're fighting DK. So we're, we're fighting Walking Dead. Let's give them... They'll have a Rest of Druid Healer. Here's our Boomy. Um, and then we're going to have Ellie on our team. And... You no, know, let's just have a Mage on our team. So it's easier. Actually, SP. That's more realistic. Okay, and Arshon. So we have, we're fighting Walking Dead. We are... Actually, Walking Dead is not a great comp. Doesn't apply as much, too. Um, this is better. Windwalker Warlock. So, we're fighting Windwalker Warlock as I'll play. And pressure points basically is, like, this Windwalker is going to be the pressure point the whole game. Because he applies the Mortal Strike. He has most of the, like, setup CC. Because he's going to be parrying our healer. And going to do damage so to beat these kind of comps a lot of the time we're going to either want to kill the windwalker monk or cc the windwalker monk um and whenever we cc the windwalker monk we're going to be wanting to look to maximize damage on these other two targets so the warlock can't just stand on our healer and spam fear we can't have this happen this starts happening then the monk will take over and just kill us so pressure points really is is we want to CC and kill the melee DPS and a lot of the time if you're fighting on a small map so let's say this is dollar and sewers now so this is dollar and sewers we're running up the steps right here these guys are running up the steps and let's say they're going our shadow priest like this locks here maybe our shams back here locks here and I'll probably be around here they drew it's here um, so if they're hitting our priest on a dollar and sewers map, it might be really difficult to beat this comp, but the way you beat it is you want to either CC the monk or kill the monk, and preferably you want to, like, alternate between doing both. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what pressure points are. A lot of the times you'll fight matchups, like, let's say this is a feral druid, um, Let's say this is Feral and this is Hunter now. Now it gets a lot more high pace. They trap your healer. They're stunning this guy. Um, so we're fighting jungle. So Feral, BM Hunter. Let's just say Residuage for now. And the Feral is the pressure point that we need to either CC or go. If we never, if we always go for clones on the healer and we don't clone the Feral, we can like. We'll get the clone on the healer, but the Feral is going to be full HP, and our Priest is going to be 30% HP, and it's not going to work out so well. So a lot of the time, I like to clone the Feral DPS. This is going to allow our Priest to have time to dot the healer, dot the hunter comfortably, and then maybe this allows him the room to run over and fear the healer. Um, or you clone the Feral, and then you can bash clone the healer or something like that. So basically, if you clone the melee DPS into melee caster, you can alleviate a bunch of pressure. Now, sometimes, you're going to fight something like, let's go back to the four pillar map. Sometimes you're going to fight something like this. So let's see here. You're going to fight something like, instead of Windwalker Monk, you're going to fight a warrior. And when you fight a warrior, you can... You can like try to CC him with Cyclones a lot, but sometimes you can clone them and it's great. But a lot of the time they'll have Reflect up and baiting Reflect is just so annoying. So usually if they're on our Priest, I might look to like play here and just spam damage. A lot of the time Warrior doesn't have the sustain to actually live that. Um, if it's a small map though, if, it's, if we go back to Sewers and it's a small map... Um, then I might look to, <clears throat> I, I will start looking to clone the warrior because the map is so small that our priest will never 
be able to get away. So a warrior having full up time is just going to lose us the game. So here I would try to clone him. Thing is with warrior, if they end up going you, when the pressure point is on you and not your other caster, say it's on me now, now our priest can play up. Locke's probably playing around here. If the warrior's going you, you just drag away from enemy healer. You just drag him away. Um, sometimes you can do like a lasso go behind pillar. You just drag the pressure point away the whole time. If possible, one thing to like avoid is you don't want the enemy healer to like be here and then you drag him to the healer. That's really bad. You always want to bring him away from their healer and you want to CC and you want to you want to CC and you want to kill them. So I'm going to go over a example here of the Windwalker Warlock matchup. Now, this matchup isn't on a small map, so it's a little bit less essential, but if you were to fight this on Blade's Edge or you were to fight this on Dollar and Sewers, it's really important that you CC and try to go the melee DPS. And then whenever you're CCing the melee DPS, it's important to hit the other other players because if they're full HP, they can play super aggressive, unpunished for a little while. So here you can see we start off instantly going on this monk. We get his trinket, we get his karma. See if we were to like clone the monk here and go the lock, like we would just get kicked and he would dark packed and it wouldn't even be that good. But kind of abusing the pressure point is the only reason we, we win this game. I think the matchup we're fighting is really, really good into us. Um, yeah, I think it's really good into us on this map. So, we've done a go on the monk, we've CC'd in the monk. And let's see what we do here. So he's going in, the monk's playing in. I He trinket reflects, okay. I'm not that bad. That's my alarm, hold on. Okay, we're back. Alright, so as you can see, we're going the monk again. We clone Locke. We're killing him. Notice every single time we do a go on this pressure point on this monk, like we force everything. We got trinket first go, arm bark next go. It's looking really good here. Um, and then right after that, we just clone him. We CC him. There's no point to keep going him. We need to make sure this warlock and this Arjuit get touched up a little bit. Because see how this lock's playing in right now? This is really dangerous where he's at because if they send a para on our healer, they fear him off. It's super sketchy. So we're we're trying to not just kill one target. We're trying to pressure both if possible. So here we have a stun coming up for the monk soon. Um, it's not like we're trying to kill the monk only. It's because of his positioning. If he ever plays in, we want to try to abuse that. Then we clone him, put him on timeout. Whenever the monk's attacking somebody, like that's when they actually have serious pressure. So we want to make him, we want to make him as scared as possible to attack. This game goes for quite a while, so I'm gonna skip forward a little bit. Basically, we're just keeping this monk at bay the whole time and controlling the warlock whenever possible. All right, so game goes for like a seriously long time. Like this is this is some real Ellie Boomy stuff right here. Okay, so this is where controlling the pressure point really matters. Um, I'm just gonna let's see here. I'm gonna go back like a little bit, and I'm just gonna play this with the comms, and you can just listen to the comms, and it'll make sense kind of what we're doing. Mute this. Okay. Your curse. I link in one. I link back. Okay. You link. I root him. I root him. Full fear. Full fear. Full fear. I clone him. I clone him. I clone him. Check your ground, man. I I can I can lasso out on. Yeah, yeah. If you can get a lasso, it's huge. I'm gonna bash him. I'm gonna bash him. I'm gonna bash him. Maybe you just lasso out. I recap. I purge. I purge. I clean these. I knock this. I send it. I send it. Monk. I link in one. No. 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 
I, no! I have Lincoln. I have Lincoln. I have Lincoln. I have Lincoln. Careful! Observer. Holy I, fuck, man. I, I tied, I tied, I moved it, I grabbed Yo. it, so I can't kill it. I panned him on it, I panned him. Kill us, kill us lock, kill us lock, kill us lock. Monk has karma, bro. Monk's gonna karma and kill us. Lock. Kill, lock. Kill, kill the lock, hit the lock, hit the lock. Screw, screw the monk. Yeah. Okay, just line, line. I speed us up, speed us up, maybe run. Yeah, I can, I can drink, I can drink. Yeah, yeah drink, 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 drink. I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't. I hear you. I'm going, I'm far, 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 far. I'm trying to drink, I'm trying to drink, drinking, drinking, drinking. Put it, punish monk. Anything, anything, anything. I'm wrapped, I'm wrapped. Yes, yes, yes. We're okay, we're okay. Yeah, I'm going for another one, maybe. Going for another drink, going for another drink. Okay. Going for another drink. Drinking, 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 drinking. Anything? Nice. What a monk? Yeah, go lock, go lock, go lock. No wall, no wall unlock. Lock's the kill. Monk's gonna karma and kill us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 yeah. go, 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 go. I, I have nothing out. Full hex. I can uh, lasso monk, lasso monk on this roll. Including lock? I, I, full cone lock, full cone lock. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. You're I need dead. a peel, I bro, I'm spamming yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah. Casting a big kill, casting a big kill, casting a big kill. Got it, got it. Armory? Yeah. I, I really, I really you get this monk's karma without dying. I move it with you. I move it with you. I move it with you. Try to go monk. I, Could maybe clone yeah. his karma now. I'm charm. Oh. Uh, no charm. I, I clone monk. I have to clone him. I have to clone him. We clone him. Okay, monk, no yeah. trick it. We can maybe kill. I speed us up. We're fast. We're fast. We're fast. Move, move, move. Okay, run, 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 run. I, just I trigger this. I shear. I shear. I shear. I ground. Yep, yep, yep. I, I, I root. Nice, nice lasso. Nice. Kill, 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 kill. kill. I purge. We'll lock. Uh, Careful. Okay, this is karma. It's karma. We live this. Uh, we might be able to yeah, win. Yeah, just run, just run. I can clone him. I'm not triggering this. I'm saving for fear. Just, no tremor. I trinket fear. I trinket fear. Okay. I'm, I'm running to you guys. I'm running to you guys. I killed a pet. I killed a pet. Okay. No CSs. Yeah, yeah. No CSs. Yeah. I, I beam this guy. Beam this guy, bro. I mess here. Nice. Sit the fuck down. <sighs> okay. So basically, that game. What we're trying to do is we are trying to keep the monk at bay and since he has karma, if he karmas and sends aggro, we basically just die if we do a bunch of damage into it. And if we don't CC him or don't, yeah, if we just don't CC him and he just does a free for all on our team and we try to go lock or druid, we'll just lose. Um, but notice how we still are trying to go the monk. If we do get the opportunity, we'll try to kill the monk. Um, but yeah, we're trying to keep their melee DPS at bay because that's their mortal strike. If they don't hit, we will probably win. Um, so I think there's one more game I'll go over. Let's see here. Um, this game might be all right. This is a really big thing into Rep Paladins. This is like cookie cutter into Rep Paladins. You always just control the Rep Paladin. Um, if you don't, you will get annihilated. Okay. So here we're we're on a kind of a weird map, but it, it's the same concept. This this kind of like play style, it doesn't matter what map you're on. It's, it's more of like a play style for the small maps because other maps you might be able to just kite people out and then punish them when they line their healer. But the strategy is more for like smaller maps and how to deal with like melee caster or even sometimes double melee. Here we got little red healer. Set everything on all of them. Get a claw on the healer. A red has cocoon. We went the red and now we're going to CC him. Let him again. Notice this game, how I'm going to keep the ret at bay the whole game. I'm not going to... I'm going to try to give him as little as possible. Here he's going to do a lot of damage. Um, but our healer has CDs and good heals for it. We get CC so we kite. So we get bubble. Um... I don't look for a clone, maybe. Okay. Get a full clone on the healer. We do a bash beam, go on the rat. They do live. 
Now it's really sketchy. But notice how I'm like, I'm only cloning the healer if I have like a Bash for Infrared or if we have a CC setup for him. If we didn't have any stun for the Ret, I probably would just clone the Ret and then kite, kite everybody out. And then the healer might run to me, I clone him, we kill Ret while he's far away. Um, but yeah. So the Ret, just controlling him and killing him the whole time. Going our shaman a little bit. Pop it to the healer. Yeah. That's basically the concept. We are cloning and we're killing and we're kiting their pressure point or their melee DPS. Um, yeah, so if you fight something on a bridge map, you fight a jungle, any feral team, this is like the way to beat them, any cupid team. Any Windwalker, like, caster team, this is the way. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later.